Hello photography fans and welcome back to LensVid. Today we're sliding into a new review with the Axoon Top Rig Motorized Slider. Stick around to see what it can do. Axon specializes in wireless video transmission systems. We reviewed their wireless follow focus and mobile monitoring system before. And today we're looking at Axon's first motorized camera slider. The top rig is a compact slider that promises smooth and quiet operation and precise controls with a payload of up to 4 kilos. There are two models available, ours is the S60 and there's also a shorter S40. Axon ships the S60 in a padded carrying bag. It would have been nice if this bag had extra space for a fluid head. There's also a spare belt in the kit. The slider has a compact design, it's a solid metal frame with a grooved rubber belt. When the motor isn't powered on, the belt is free to move in case you need to do a manual slide. The carriage comes with a retractable 3 8 to quarter inch mounting screw. To mount the slider, there's a single 3 8 and multiple quarter inch mounting holes on the bottom. The quarter inch mounts on the ends come with locating pins, perfect for mounting support rods or other accessories. For tabletop use, the slider comes with adjustable rubber feet that can also be removed for transporting. There's an easily visible bubble to make sure that the slider is leveled. 2 kilo combo, this is A7R4 with an IRX 30mm single lens. Set up vertically. It's rated for about two and a half kilos vertically, so shouldn't have a problem and doesn't have a problem. One of the main features of the top rig slider is this parallax rail. It allows to center the camera on a subject or pan to the sides while moving from one end to the other. This is really useful for product photography, interviews, and even landscapes and real estate shots. The lens pans up and down as the slider moves back and forth next to the parallax rail that's in here. You can see from here it's offset a little bit. I mean, you can see the jitters in it at full speed, of course. But it's minor, actually. Footage is usable. The motor runs off an NPF battery or DC power. The unit also features a 5V USB-C out port to power a small monitor or another accessory. There's also a camera port to trigger the shutter from the app for time-lapse photography. The speed control knob is a great feature. It allows to seamlessly and precisely control the slide between as slow as 1 cm in 10 seconds to as fast as 5 cm per second. When it first starts the operation, the ends may be a little jittery. So I would let it slide a couple of times before starting recording. And this is at full speed now. Still very dampened. The footage is still pretty... There's some jitters. I'm going to put a 200mm lens on here and see what that looks like. This is about a 2.2 program setup. You can definitely see some jitter. Set the speed to about half. Let's see what the footage looks like. Still moving pretty quickly. The top rig slide controls are very simple and intuitive. There's an on and off button, a start and stop button, and a toggle between looping and a one-time slide. When powered on, the slider will auto calibrate by going from one extreme to the other. After calibration, you can set A and B points by stopping the slide and clicking the A and B button. When both A and B points are recorded, the indicator light will come on. Axon also provides the top rig app to control the slide remotely. It's a simple interface that allows to do a manual slide, set A and B points, and prompt the motor calibration. There's no option to control the speed in the app. For time lapses, the app allows to set the camera's exposure and frame rate, and control the interval and total duration. Of course, you'll need a camera control cable for this feature. We've been using Axon's top rig slider in interviews, and it's provided very smooth footage without jerky rebounds. The lowest speed setting is really good for macro shots. The bigger the object, the faster you want to go. So for landscapes, you'll probably use the full speed, but for interviews, half speed will do, or even less. Macro photography, that's where the real slow setting comes in handy. The slider is very portable and well made. The only thing that might be a hassle is replacing the belt. It doesn't look like it's a quick install. As for pricing, Top Rig S60 slider costs $400 and the shorter S40 sells for $350. And that is it for our review of the S60 Top Rig slider by Axoon 
Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com, subscribe to this channel, and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Lopez. Time lapse photography. Time lapse photography. Photography that's lapsed in time. Centimeter. Centimeter. Centimeters. Centimeters. Look at the shutter from the app for time lapse photography. Okay, yeah. Nothing against time lapses. Just can't say it right.